is it the pen by itself? He's so good at that. Uh, yeah, it's not the pen by itself. A, a tiny image rises in your mind. A perfect pen. It's too good. Okay? Remember what I say. Remember what I just said. It's too good to be true. It's too perfect. Okay? For example, it has a back on it. Okay? The pen, the pen that you put on this thing has a back on it. You, you, you feel that there's a back to the... I'm holding it up. Is there a back to this pen? How do you know that? Why do you think that? I haven't turned it around yet. Why do you assume it has a back? Why do you think you know what the back looks like? You see? It's because, catch this, okay, now it's the, most, now it's the crux of the whole night. It's 9.14 on August 20-something um, at the Mahasuka Center. And you heard these words, okay? Mm. You are just watching the image in your mind. Okay? You are watching an image in your mind. There is no pen here. Okay? There's, there is a stick. It is purple. It has a rounded shape. But what you're looking at right now is not a pen. You are looking at... You are looking at pen. Get it, okay? You are looking at pen. If you get what I just said, you're on, you can push yourself into the direct perception of emptiness, really. And then whole massive changes in your evolution happen within a day. Within 24 hours, you become a, you become a separate uh, class of being. You become like an angel. You become like a divine being. You become a person who can save a, a planet or many planets, okay? Just get that one thing, okay? Careful. Get it. When I hold this up and you see a pen, you're not seeing a pen. You are seeing pen. Where is it? In your mind. You are looking at a tiny patch in the back of your mind, okay? You're not looking at it. You're not looking at a pen. It's not a pen. You are observing pen. Why? How, prove it, Geshe Michael, because you see a back. You feel there's a back. You sense there's a back. Your instinct tells you there's a back. There can't be, a, there is no back here. You can't prove it. You didn't know that. You didn't see the other side. You don't know. You're watching this perfect little picture in your head. That has a back. Okay? That has a back. Right? That's perfect. It's too perfect. It's too good. Okay? Get this. I'll take you one more step, okay? Don't get lost, all right? Don't get lost and don't get freaked out. Don't go out and stick a, head in your, a pen in your head and die or something, <laughs> okay? Um, what was I going to say? You can't be seeing a pen. It's, it's not possible. What you think is going on cannot be going on. Why? To see the whole pen, you would have to look at the top, and then you would have to look at the bottom. Got it? You would have to. You can't confirm that it's a pen. Is, is, damn. is this a pen? No, you, you look at the, you're just looking at the top, right? You're just looking at the top. Uh, can you see the pen? Can you see the whole pen without looking at the top? Can you see the whole pen without looking at the top? Can you see the whole pen without looking at the bottom? When you concentrate on the top, can you see the bottom? But you think you do. Can you just see the whole pen? No, because if you don't look at the top and you don't look at the bottom, you can't tell if it's a whole pen. Can you see the whole pen? No, you have to look at the top, and then you have to look at the bottom, and then you say there's a whole pen there, okay? But by the time you get to the bottom, you don't know if there's still a top there. But in your mind, you think there is. You say, Geshla, it's a whole pen. Geshla, it's a whole pen. That's a proof. That's a tiny little proof. You ain't looking at a pen. You're looking at a tiny image in your own mind. Okay? You are looking at a tiny image in your own mind. Okay? Now, immediately we have to pull you back from the precipice. Okay? We have to pull you back from the edge of the stage. Okay? Don't think you're living in your head. 
that don't help anything. Okay, don't get confused. You know, don't go to the nut house from here. You know, and they say, why are you here? And they say, Gishla, I gave this teaching, and now I realize all the people I ever met are just in my own head. You know, and I'm just living in my own head. Even all the pens are in my own head. You know, don't think like that. That's wrong. Okay, that's not the point. That's not the point. Mm. Don't ever think like that. There are other. Gyushen Drupa is one of the books that Chandrakirti wrote. He took Dharma Kirti to prove that he proved that other people are real. Okay, he wrote a book to prove that other people are real, because he didn't want people freaking out. He didn't want people saying, "Oh my God, Lauren Benjamin is just a little image in my mind." You know, <laughs> it's so lonely. You know, I'm I'm the only person. Everybody else is just a little picture in my head. Don't think like that. Okay, don't think like that. Is it true that Lauren Benjamin is a small picture in your mind? It is true. But it's always been that way. Can you interact with an independent being called Lauren Benjamin who's in your mind? Can you be her friend? Yeah. And that's all it ever was. Okay? That's all it ever was. And it's enough to be real. Got it? Kochapa. It's enough to be real. She's real. She can be your friend. You can love her. You can relate with her. You can go visit her house. You can have a friendship with her. She can teach you uh, and still be an image in your mind. No problem. Don't worry about that. Don't think like that. Don't get freaky on it, okay? Don't do that. That doesn't help anybody, okay? That doesn't help anybody. Now, next question. Let's go back to clock. Where did clock come from? Why are you seeing a clock? Why did that image pop up in your head? Huh? No, you see, if I, if I held the same object up to the dog, right, he will uh, chew on it. He doesn't see clock. Why do you see clock? Why is there a picture of clock in your head, and why is there a picture of you know, something inconvenient to chew on in the dog's head? Why? Why? Tell me why. Why are you seeing clock? Why, did clock? why did clock pop up in your head when I held this up? Yeah, you have a seed in your mind for that. Okay? You have a seed in your mind for that. All right? A little tiny clock is popping up in the back of your head. Why? Because you have a seed in your mind for that. Right? How did that seed get there? Who put it there? You did. How? That's karma. Okay? That's karma. What does karma mean? Karma means doing something, saying something, or thinking something, which puts a seed in your mind, which later opens into a... Oh, he said, uh, oops. Which later opens into clock. Okay? It opens into clock. You, you just saw dependent origination. Those of you who care, you just perceive dependent origination. The true nature of dependent origination. How does this happen in real life? How is the final hour before you see emptiness happen? When, does, when do you catch yourself with the image thing? Okay? You are, this is very typical, okay? You're, you got up in the morning. You've been being kind to people. You've been meditating at least an hour a day. You've been serving your heart teacher. And you've been studying hardcore with Cliff at the ACILA Center. Okay? And then you, you get up in the morning and you make tea for your heart teacher because, of course, you're serving them. You know? And, and you, under the influence of those other activities, it has to be. You have to have that support, or you, it's not going to happen to you, okay? You go to the stove. You know, you're like a normal day. You're like tired. He's getting up early. He's one of those llamas. And, and you put the pot on the stove, and you turn it on, and you step back to, to wait for the tea to boil. And you look at the pot, and you realize you're looking at an image in your mind. You know, something happens. Under the influence of kindness, under the influence of your teacher's blessing, under the influence of your study, 
and under the influence of constant meditation, you go into another, something happens. And you, you're looking at the thing and you're saying, oh my God, I'm looking at a picture in my mind. You know, I'm looking at pot. I'm not looking at the pot. Right? Focus. You're standing there. You're looking at this thing. And you say, my God, I'm looking at, a, at an image in my own mind. Okay? And out there, there's a black, uh, what do you call it? Stick shape. And out there, there's a round shape. And out there, there's a change in the color from white to silver as you go around the side. And there's nothing more out there. There's nothing more out there. Okay? There's a black stick shape, there's a curve, and there's some white. But the pot is in my mind. I, that thing suggests a pot to me. A pot pops up in my mind, and, and, and my mind puts it on that thing. And it makes it pot. Is it a pot out there? Is it a pot? No, it's a bunch of parts. It's a bunch of, it's a stick. It's a black stick. It's a round shape. And it's some white silver color. Okay, got it? That's all it ever was. It was never more. Your eye cannot see a pot. The eye cannot, can only detect colors and shapes. The eye consciousness is incapable. The rods and cones in the eye cannot make a judgment about what an object is. It's not possible. The cones and rods in the eye can only detect shape and color. You can't be seeing a pot. Even in science, you can't be seeing a pot. You're only capable of detecting. On the eye can only register colors and shapes. You're seeing a rounding. You're seeing a white tish. And you're seeing a black stick. A black. A black. <laughs> okay? And then, because that's all your, your, eye, your eyes cannot see more than that. They're just set up to see shapes and colors. That's all. They cannot detect, they cannot make a judgment about what an object is. Okay? That information comes in mind, and the mind, then pot pops up. Pot, got it? Pot pops up in the mind. Picture of pot, image of pot. It's made of light. It's like a 3D computer image of light. Pot pops up in your mind, and then it puts it on that thing. It, it, it projects it onto that thing. And you think I'm seeing a pot. But you're not. You're seeing pot. OK? You're just seeing pot. There is no pot. There is no a pot. There is no the pot. You have always been watching images in your mind. OK? You have always been watching images in your mind. Now, crucial, OK? Especially for you teachers. You cannot leave the audience at that. You cannot say, OK, go home. You know what pot is. Good luck. You know, you cannot stop there. You cannot stop there. Why, did we, why are we talking about these things? How did I start tonight? What was the first thing I talked about? The plane. The plane that was going down, you know? And the plane is going down for everybody. Everybody's dying. In this room, everybody's dying, you know? I have a joke with my old boss. She was a very rich lady in the diamond company. She used to take me on her trips to Tokyo. Why? So I could carry the luggage. I'm the vice president of the company. I'm making six figures. And she uses me as her luggage carrier, right? And I have to stand outside uh, the, the Japanese cosmetic store with her bags while she spends three hours inside to get the most expensive cosmetics in the world. And she comes out and she says, how do I look? And in my mind, I'm saying, you are three goddamn hours older than you were when you walked in. <laughs> you, know? you know? You are three hours older than when you walked in. You see? No matter what you smear on your face, you have more wrinkles than when you walked in. Because you lived in the store. You breathed the air. You existed in the store for three hours. You're now older. You are closer to your death in the time it took you to buy the cosmetics. You are three hours closer to your death. And that's the story of our life, you see? You go to a yoga class, you know, an hour and a half of boom, you know? Your, your body is an hour and a half older. The bones are an hour and a half more brittle, you know? The skin is an hour and a half more dry. You keep doing that, you'll die, you see? No, and you do, you do, you see? There's 